Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have been doing a few different changes. Today we're going to be doing on how to set up OPN Sense in your Promox server with networking already set up. And this is going to be working for Windows and Linux. So we're going to do this demonstration first by making a new virtual network. So from here on your Promox, you're going to go to Data Center. You're going to look for SDN over here. You're going to click on Sounds. You're gonna make a new one. You're gonna choose the simple one. You're going to give it a name. Just put, I must just put it plain and simple. Now that you did that, you're going to create a BNet for it. Create. Let's give it here a uh, OP and NAT alias. Let's just call this a uh, BNet work. And select and the zone. You're going to select the one that you see has created. This one. Create that. Now you're going to create a subnet for it. So select it. Create subnet. And for the demonstration, I'm just pick a random one. Ten dot ten dot ten dot zero slash twenty four. And I'll pick the gateway. Ten dot ten dot ten dot one hundred. Create. Okay, now that you have done that, you're going to go back to SDN and you're going to apply the changes. You can click on yes. Now give that a few seconds while it creates the new virtual network. We should see it pop up in a few seconds. And as you can see, it's right here. Now we're going to set up the OPN sense. This OPN sense is already restored to factory. So we're just going to do the process all over again. So we're going to start that up. And you're going to see here on hardware. Now for here, we need to select our WAM and LAN. So for OP Sense, you're going to edit this. In my case, if I haven't changed it, you're going to pick the correct network, which in my case would be this one. And for the network, for the WAM in this case, for the network, you're going to check your physical one that you have connected to your computer, which in my case is this one. No changes there. So go back to the console. I'm going to start this up. Now I'm just going to give this a few seconds. Okay, so my system finally booted up. It already took the WAN and LAN automatically. Okay, so from here is your sign interface, just press one, no, no. Now here she has to be sure on which one you're going to pick. Well, in my case for the WAN, which is your physical router that you have, hardware, in my case, the MAC address is 7F. So here in the console, you want to select the 7F. 7F is BTNet1. BTNet1. Now for your LAN interface, BTNet0. Enter. And I, I do not want an optional interface, so it's just enter. And now, uh, yes, just wanted to be correct if I put it right. Okay, now we have it like that. Now we're going to turn on a virtual machine. You can use any that you have already set up. I have set up your Windows 7. You can use Windows 10. But for the demonstration, let's just use Windows 7. First, before I turn it on, hardware, you're going to select the, the LAN interface that you just made. From here, OP Sense, I'm going to change that to OpNet. OK. So now it should load up with Internet Service coming from here from the OPN server. OK. Now let's just change that back. Go to start. Let's turn this computer on. Just get that a few seconds to load up. OK, once that load up, we're going to be able to log into the web GUI. From here, just put your password to log in. Okay, once you are here, open up your command shell or your PowerShell and check the IP address that it has. Okay, as I see here, it took the IP address from the LAN that we just created, so that's very good. So now we're just going to access that. So let's just open up your browser from here. And it's going to log in there, 192.168.1.1. Give that a few seconds as you pop it up. Okay, perfect. Advance, continue. Now you're going to put in the password. Root. The default password is opsense. That's by default. Okay, so from here, you're going to be doing the first thing. It's going to go to system, and you're going to add the gateway from your physical router. In my case, my gateway would be 172.16.101. Dot 150. 
something's going to add here the gateway gateway configuration now i do not want to use ipv6 so i'm just going to disable that later on so here it's already added but i will double check it okay so here you're going to put your physical gateway address here it should already pick it up automatically if not just put it again because i want to keep this static everything so it doesn't change us even though that's just the gateway and once you've done that we're going to go to land and here we're going to change this to static and add for me i'm just going to disable the ipv6 part i don't need that okay so here we're just going to change this to the ip that we set up in the promox so in my case it would be 10.10.10.100 because that's the one that's going to be used for the gateway to access the server here. So I'm just going to save that. Save that. I'm going to apply that. Now we should lose internet here in a second. Okay, yeah. So the internet gone. So let's just uh, release the IP that we have for now so we can grab the new IP from the from the LAN IP config slash release. Okay, perfect. Now let's get a new one. Renew. Okay, we're just going to get that a few seconds. If you grab an IP any second now. Let's see. Okay, let's just release the IP and let's double check again. Okay, it looks like it did grab an IP. Let's double check that. IP config. Okay, no. So it doesn't want to grab it automatically. So we're just going to add it manually in this case. So we're just going to go here to where the, the internet is. Copy. Open network sharing. Adapter. Local. Properties. Now I'm just going to go here in IPv4 is in property. And I'm just going to add a a IP at the same subnet, which is the server. So before I do that, just to verify, I need to pin the server so I know that I'm going to get server. So pin then dot ten dot ten dot one hundred test. So it's gonna fail. It's fine. So I'm gonna put here ten dot ten dot ten dot ten. Just pick number ten. And two five five two five five two five five. And okay. Now just close that and we should get a reply from it. Okay, perfect. So we have reply. So that means we can log in again here to the server. 10.10.10.100. Okay, so it looks like it still doesn't want to connect to it. So sometimes this will glitch out. So we just got to go back to the server and we just got to do a reboot so let's just reboot the system six reboot enter but yes so let's just give that a few seconds while it just reboots to see if it actually fix the issues because normally when you do a change like that sometimes the, the process won't take it immediately so just with a simple restart it should fix the problem okay so now it's just booted up the system that's good so i am just fast forward this part i'll be right back Okay, there it is. The system has put it up and I can see that it already took the changes for this. Perfect. So let's just log in here, root uh, the password. Okay, there we are. Let's see now if we already have service again. Okay, it looks like we do. So that's great. That means it's pinning again. Sweet. So now advance, continue. Now here, let's just put the password. Okay, now that we're ready right there, all that we need to do now is go back to interface. And now, because we still don't have internet here, we actually need to assign the gateway that already made. So we're going to select our WAM. We'll put this in full screen. And from here, I, I do not want to use IPv6, so disable that. It's for me, and I'm going to change this to static. 
Now from here, I'm just gonna select the IP that I'm going to be using. So for my physical router, I'm gonna choose this one. Put this as 24 and enable the, the gateway of the router. So with, with this having enabled, it should give us internet for some parts and that completed. So once we do this, we save it. We apply the changes. Okay, there the changes have been applied. So now it has to do one. So now we're gonna go to firewall. And for firewall, we're gonna pick NAT. We're gonna pick an outbound. And from here, we're going to change the mode from automatic to hybrid. I'm gonna save that, apply that. And we're going to add a rule here, add, pick the WAM, IP4, any protocol. Okay, so for the source address, you're going to pick single host or network. I'm going to put here the, the LAN network. So in my case, it would be 10.10.10.0.24. Everything else can remain the same as any, 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 any. I would like to put a description here so I know that we're actually going to be using this for internet for our virtual machines. Enter not for VMs. Save, that's there. Now it's going to apply that change. Okay, I take it. Now we're going to go to rules here. And from here, we're just going to select the LAN, add that. And from here, it's just going to do the same thing. Add a new one, and the passive LAN direction N, IP4, protocol any, the source is what we're going to change, single host or network. And from here, I'm going to put in the subnet 10.10.10.0. Once that's added, you don't need to change anything else. Save that, apply that. And now that is, it's already added there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to check to see if our computers are already having service. So from here, I'm going to go to services. ISC DHCP V4. From here, I'm going to go on LAN. And at least for me, I like to change this because sometimes, as you can see, it doesn't change. So it's just a precaution if you're not getting like, why do my internets don't have IPs? In this case, your virtual machines. So I'm going to change this to 10.10.10.2. And the other side, 10.10.10.254. .10 .10 .10 and you don't need to change anything else. Save this. Now here for the WAM. This is actually okay. I don't need to change anything here. Just gonna make sure that's disabled. And for the LAN, it's activated by default. Now in leases, we should see already that the computer be getting uh, an IP here and it should register right here. See if we uh, restart that, refresh that. Now, let's see, I can't see it here, but okay, I can still see that my computer still doesn't have service. And that's actually normal. So let's just try to open the PowerShell. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna cancel this. I still don't have service for internet right now. So if I try here, go to Google. Let's see. No, we still don't have service. Let's find them. Let's just close this out. Now let's just get a new IP. Let's see IP config, we should have the O but we have the one that we already set up for static. So I'm just gonna change that back to properties. Take this off, put it automatically and we should get an IP. Says enable. Okay, so I think it was successful. Let's see IP config. Okay, yeah. So it says it has a service, let's see. Let's go open Google. Okay, perfect. Now we have service for a Windows computer. That's really great. Now then, let's check for Linux computers because this is sometimes, I guess, it has issues. So I have here a container running Docker. I'm gonna start that service up, start. Now let's just give that a few seconds while it starts. Okay, there we go. It's gonna log in. Okay, let's see if they grab an IP, IPA. No, it's still doing with IP. Okay, I think I forgot to add the network. Network, yes, 
this was my fault. Add, we put the name here, let's just put opnet. Another branch, opnet as well. Let's actually put this opnet zero, zero. And I want it dynamically, not static, so just grab it. Add, console. Now I'm just gonna check again. Oh, that's right, I need to include this. So I'm just gonna stop this. Okay, it's gonna give that a few seconds. Okay, now let's start that up again. Let's give that another few seconds. Okay. Okay, so you need a few more seconds to boot up. There we go. Root the password. Okay, IPA. Okay, so I did grab one. Perfect, now let's see if we can actually pin the public DNS. Okay, so there is an issue. This usually happens. So let's go back to the to the firewall. Now from here, we should be able to pin it. Okay, so we can pin it, so this one doesn't have any issues. So all we gotta do to fix that is, basically just check first on the server, 10.10. First, let's see on services, if they actually did capture a lease. There should be two leases. Okay, see, okay, perfect, there it is. So the Windows, Host name and capture it. Here's the lease. Perfect. Even the doc. So now the docker doesn't have internet. So the best way to fix this is literally just by going to the server here and just restart it. Or you can do it from here as well. It's just reboot it. So I'm just gonna put it directly over here. Options. So here's just click six to reboot. Enter. Yes. Now this is going to take a few seconds to reboot. Now here the Docker, it should grab service pretty in a few seconds. So I'm just going to pin this here. I'm not going to fast forward this part. It's just gonna take a few seconds. So I'm gonna enter that. And any second now, we should be able to get service on the Docker as well. So that way you can have this running on Linux and Windows with no issues whatsoever. But for whatever reason, doing it in this virtual environment, sometimes it has like random issues. You want to setting up the rules, at a man, you should have service, but just using the simple restart fixes the issue. Now I'm just gonna wait here for a few more seconds to this to load up. Let's see. Did it load up? Okay, now it's still finishing up. So that just needs to wait another few more seconds. So I'm gonna go back here, let's see. I'm gonna cancel the one because I can't see it yet. So I'm gonna start that again. Oh, and there it is. It booted up and has a hash reply. So that means this is already complete. Yep, perfect. It's already there. Now it should be able to, from here, it's still running, perfect. So if I do a the update, it should get updates. So, oh, and there it is, perfect. No one is available, that's it. Okay guys, so this was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it on how to set it up with OpSense. The firewall, the open source one, it's the same one. It's a little bit similar to PFSense as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.